Hey guys, we're about to do an install. We got a new Vertex steering wheel for Christmas. It's freaking amazing. And we got an Energy Shore Hub and Quick Release, Teal Quick Release, and then the Shore Hub is in the car. So we're about to do an install. All right, first things first, before we do anything with the airbags, messing with anything like that, we need to disconnect the battery. And also it'll keep the horn from randomly going off as we're installing the new steering wheel. Good. Okay, so to get the airbag out, there's gonna be three openings right behind the steering wheel on the center column. One on the left side, one on the right side, one on the bottom, and it'll be off right to your left side. So you stick that in, stick a screwdriver in, doesn't matter if it's flathead or Phillips, and just feel around, you'll feel a little spring that'll give way, and that'll pop the, that side out. And there you go. Bear with me guys, a little crippled here, still recovering after. And there's the hole, same on the other side, same on the bottom. For the, those of you that don't know, I have a grade 3 separation in my left shoulder, so still kind of healing. There you go. And there it is. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do Right on here, there's a blue wire. You just pull that away from the connection. Okay. And it just pulls off? Yep. <sighs> just wiggle it back and forth. Come on guys, there, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what? Now, take that little flathead screwdriver that you just had. Okay. And see the yellow tops on those? Yep. Pry up on those. From this way? Or Either this? way, you just gotta pry up on them. Okay. okay. Good, now the other one. Okay. Now go underneath those connections, the black and orange ones, and just pry up on those. These? Yep. There you go, airbag is off. Okay. All right, now what? All right, so next thing you're gonna do, there's a 17 millimeter nut right there. You're gonna wanna take that off, we're gonna use an impact, and hopefully it'll be enough. Now, this part you may have trouble with since your shoulder is separated. Um, you're gonna wanna grab both sides of the steering wheel, wiggle back and forth towards you. Okay. Yep. There you go. <laughs> steering wheel's off. <laughs> now, make sure your steering wheel is straight. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now you can take the nut off. And now you can remove the steering wheel, but while you're removing that, those wires that are hanging down, make sure not to let those get caught. Um, These. Actually, unplug that one. Yep. That's going to your cruise control. Okay. And that one can just stay out. Now, when you pull the steering wheel off, make sure to feed those through. So I'll be kind of slow yep. with it. All right. All right. And that's your clock spring. You don't want to twist it or move it around too much. You okay, before you install the short hub, you're gonna to want to make sure to grab this wire out of the stock steering wheel. This blue one is for the horn. The rest of this goes to the cruise control. So you're going to want to unhook that. And then there's this little white clip here. And you're going to want to unplug that. Take 
that out and then you can just toss this thing in the trash. Okay, so now you'll take that wire harness and plug that back in to the clock spring. Yep. And now you'll take the included resistors. Some short hubs don't come with these. This is the energy short hub and it did. They're not polarity sensitive, so you'll just plug those into the plugs that went into the airbag and this is going to keep you from having an airbag light. And now these are more than likely not going to stay in there by themselves. And you don't want them falling out once you have everything assembled. So we're going to use a little bit of electrical tape and tape those back up. Okay, so now that we have those taped up and secure, they're not going to be randomly falling out on us while we're driving down the road. We're going to install the short hub. So you're going to put that on. The opening in that goes towards the top. You want to straighten out the clock spring. Okay. Yep. And then you are going to basically the only wire that you're going to feed through that hole is the blue one. Everything else is going to tuck. And I feed that through the top? Yep. Everything else is going to tuck in the okay. inside of the short hub. It doesn't have to be pretty, just kind of cram everything in there. And then you're going to want to make sure that when you put the short hub on, when you slide it over the splines, that the energy logo is facing directly towards the top. Okay, so now that that is on there, everything is tucked in, nothing is sticking out from the sides, everything is straight and lined up. You're gonna take the nut that you took off and start that. All right, now go ahead, take the impact. I believe this gets torqued down to 29 foot-pounds, but we're just going to put this on with this. Oh, there you go. Let's go till it. Yep. All right. Okay, so the next step is hooking up the quick release. And now what you're going to want to do is disconnect the quick release from that part of it. Flip it over. There you go. Nice catch. <laughs> okay. Yellow to blue wire and then black to black. Each one has female and male connectors so you can't get it wrong. Okay. Now that you have those in, tuck the wires into the opening. Make sure the NRG logos line up. Same with those little dots. Right there. And there's another one on the short hub itself. When those line up, then you can take the included Allen bolts, screw the Allen bolts into it. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Disgusted with my 
All right, after the steering wheel is all installed and tightened down, some steering wheels, most of them, will have a horn. It'll look like this for the most part. So the power wire for the horn is gonna connect to here, and then the ground doesn't really have anything to connect to. So how we're gonna make this work is I'm just going to splice the black wire and then connect it to this and that is going to complete the circuit. And then nice little satisfying click in place to make sure that it's good. Good luck.